Greetings everyone, Kenji here your sculptor and welcome back to Life of Clay. This time I'll be sculpting a very easy and quick one, the venomous eastern coral snake, Microrus fulvius using cos clay. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell icon so you will be updated whenever I upload new videos. And so without further ado, come bring the clay on and let's begin. And let's start by building its armature using 1mm stainless steel wire and a 0.3mm one for the tail end. And I just bind them together using yarn. Then I bend the tip of the 1mm wire into a hook shape for its head. Then I apply resin to reinforce the bond and set it aside to cure. Next, let's proceed in bulking it up by wrapping it with aluminum foil in a spiral motion. Then I wrap a cotton twine around it to secure the foil tightly. We can now begin sculpting its body and tail and of course I will be using cosplay for this one to test its flexibility afterwards. I just roll out a snake of clay using my new personalized tool I called the rounder. Then I flatten it with my mini roller which I also personally made. And we can now cover the armature with this strip of clay. Close the seam by blending and shape it out. And yes, I'm just going to sculpt this snake in a simple straight position. The eastern coral snake, Microrus fulvius, is a species of highly venomous coral snake in the family Elapidae. It is endemic to the southeastern United States and is generally less than 80 cm or 31 inches in total length. Coral snake eats lizards, frogs, and smaller snakes, including other coral snakes. Their average lifespan in the wild is unknown but in captivity, they can live up to 7 years. And it's time to add its scale texture using my scale texturing tool. I just roll it along its body, leaving one third of its side untouched. Now let's add its ventral scales on this remaining side. Using this wooden tool, I add narrow horizontal segments backwardly. Then let's put it in the oven to do the first baking at 135 degrees Celsius for about 20 minutes. Now the first baking is done, let us now proceed in sculpting its head. I first apply liquid polymer clay onto the connection to strengthen the bond. Then cover it with a small strip of clay, blend and shape it out. Then I add scale texture on its neck. Then let's add those scale plates and all the other details of its head. The venom of this eastern coral snake is a potent neurotoxin and venomation causes rapid paralysis and respiratory failure in prey. In humans, symptoms include slurred speech, double vision, and muscular paralysis eventually leading to respiratory failure. An adult coral snake holds is enough to kill up to 5 adults. It cannot release all its venom in a single bite. And coral snake antivenin was manufactured in the year 1960s, but the production was halted in 2003 due to several reasons. Then I just make small craters on both sides of its head for its eyes and embed these pre-baked polymer balls. And we can now do the last and final baking. Let us now paint it, but first I'm going to prime it using white gesso which I tinted with black acrylic paint to turn it into gray. This will help the paint to adhere to the sculpture properly and it may prevent the so-called plasticizer migration. Music 
And let's start painting those rings and circling its body using vermilion, lamp black, and radiant yellow. The color pattern of this coral snake consists of a series of rings that encircle the body. White, red, and black rings separated by narrow yellow rings. And the red rings are usually speckled with black. People who live in its natural range are often taught a folk rhyme as children such as Red next to black, safe from attack. Red next to yellow, you're a dead fellow. Or red touching black, friend of Jack. Red touching yellow, you're a dead fellow. Though this rhymes is not actually accurate due to several reasons like genetic mutations that cause color variations in some coral snakes in different regions, not to mention those albinos too. It should not be confused with the scarlet snake or scarlet king snake, which are harmless mimics whereas their red rings only touches their black rings. Then I just add those black speckles on its broad red rings. And we can now seal it with water-based gloss varnish. And the moment of truth, bending it. Don't know yet what will going to happen but I'm hoping it won't break if I bent it. So let's find out. Wow, so far there is no breakage appearing that means I did bake it properly and it cures just right making it effectively bendable. I really love it, the stainless steel wire inside is strong enough to hold every position, really nice. But that doesn't mean we can bend it limitless, of course all things have their limitations. For me, I think I could use its bendable quality to make different poses out of this single model, then mold and cast each to produce variations. And there we have it, the Eastern Coral Snake sculpture is finally done. And if you enjoy my sculpting video guys, please give it a thumbs up, leave your comments down below, and share it with your friends. And if you wish to see more of my sculpting videos, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell icon so you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you again for watching, see you again next time, have a great day everyone!